All right. We are continuing with this little dog now. Um, the reason I love these little small figures is because it doesn't put the pressure on my hand. Uh, I basically tried to do a, a little bit larger figure the other day and it just uh, my hand wouldn't do it. So I'm able to control the strength in my hand when I do this. So it is nice. It's nice to do the smaller figures because it, it just doesn't have the effect that trying to do something larger. Uh, it's like when I'm trying to run a drill or something, if, if my hand, if I try, have to put a lot of pressure, then it, I can't do it very long. Probably no more than 10 minutes or more. All right. Now, on this back leg, let's put the foot here and then just go like this. You see what I'm saying? See that? I drew a little, that's the foot, and where the foot goes in between, and we're going to just cut that little V out right there. Take small cuts. Don't get rambunctious. See this? Now see that? And let's go over here and do the same thing. Come with our foot. We come down just like that. Makes like a little knee. We cut it. We come here. See how I'm, I'm making several cuts to, to make the full cut? Do that. Doesn't put the pressure on the hand and stuff like a, a normal carving wood. And then we're just going to kind of loosen this up in this area. And the same thing here. Kind of come back with that. There we go. All right. Okay. All right. Now what we want to do is just kind of come up here and round this head off a little bit. See that? Just kind of round that head off just a little bit. And let's go ahead and cut back on these ears just a little bit right in there by making small cuts. See? Just bringing that ear back in there so it doesn't look like a block. These ears are not that thick, as we say. There we go. Now let's go ahead and work on this nose. Of course the nose is way too big. So we're just going to kind of bring it down a little bit. Shape it. Now you want to be real careful. You want to take very light cuts like I'm doing right here. Very, very light cuts so that you don't uh, overdo it. Okay. Kind of come like this. And the nose. Now it, it stands a little bit high, but we're going to bring that down just a little bit. But if you had a little bit bigger nose, it's not going to hurt. He's going to look like a good caricature dog anyway. Okay. Now. What I want you to do is at the bottom of the nose, wait, let's take this nose down here and let's just go ahead and make a cut and make a cut there and it, now we've separated it from the mouth, I mean from the thing. All right, now we want to kind of shape this a little bit. You want to be careful in this area with not chipping off too much wood at one time. You can see I'm moving my knife very slowly across there very slowly okay now we want to go to the front of the dog and from the nose down we want to just draw a line like this stop about halfway and then draw a Y it's like a Y backwards 
just like a Y backwards where the mouth is down here, okay? And we want to take our knife, we want to cut, we want to come from both sides, and we want to make just a little V cut and wrap that little piece off right there. There we go. And in this area, we want to be real careful. We want to do the same thing. Be real gentle, folks. In fact, you can turn around and do it like this. See that? Just like that. Alright. Now I'm just going to kind of shape this down here a little bit. I'm going to bring that in just a little bit in there. There we go. I'm just widening it, see? But I'm doing it by making several cuts. I've already made about three or four cuts on it. Very light cuts. And you see? I've cut that in there. Alright. Now let's go ahead and begin to shape this back. Thin it up a little bit is what I mean. We're just kind of shaping it just a little bit. He doesn't have that big now that up there boy that it really changes grain quick okay and let's go ahead and work on our our feet a little bit just begin to pull that uh, apart right there and then take your knife excuse me take your pencil and run your pencil up there now you can do that with a V-tool, but I'm going to do it with a knife and just slowly begin, slowly, not strongly, begin to take away a little bit. In fact, you can take the tip of your knife and just move in there like that and take away that wood in between there. Now, you don't have to go all the way through necessarily. And we just want to round that off in there a little bit. Just sort of shape those legs a little bit. They're a little bit too square. Notice how I flip my knife up a little bit. I kind of flip my knife. And I come in here. And I just sort of run that blade through there. And separate those, those uh, uh, legs in there. Now if you have a V-tool or uh, something you can also do that. Okay I'm just gonna of course that tail is is too too thick so we're gonna thin it a little bit more. The thinner you get the more you have to be careful and let's go ahead and make a deeper cut so that our our uh, back leg Let's just sort of do this little number shows up same thing over here come around like that and our back leg shows up better okay then you can kind of make this thinner and kind of round this off a little bit and you can even make this a little bit thinner, see? Kind of make a... Just kind of like that. And round that off in there. Alright, now, of course, we're just going to... We don't have to do it all the way. But we're going to just take a little bit and try to remove a little bit of wood. If 
from this area too, from those back legs in the middle. See how I do that? I just, I do it like a V cut. I just sort of cut in, remove. Now that area is a little bit difficult to get into in there, but you just have to kind of work your knife in there. Just like in here, just have to kind of work your knife, the tip of your knife in there. And don't, don't twist it in there, folks. You don't break the tip of your knife. Don't twist it in there. But just sort of we go and we come from the inside a little bit but I'm just using the very very tip of my knife to do this I'm not I'm not getting aggressive don't do not get aggressive you're gonna break something and on his back see how I flip my knife just flip it like this Okay, now we're going to work a little bit underneath there. Now let's go on and get to our ears again. We want to get these ears separated. It's, it's really kind of hard to see inside there, but we want to take our knife and continue to separate those ears from each side. Get your knife sharp. Up underneath here and just separate, cut in a V cut, separate those ears up underneath the chin of the dog, just like that. <sighs> All right. Now I'm going to bring that ear back just a little bit in here and just a little bit in there. Just like that. Now, continue bringing that ear back. <sighs> See up underneath there. That also then gives you room to bring your knife a little bit closer and separate those feet a little bit. All right. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and shape that nose a little bit from each side. I'm going to come down. I'm going to get that ear a little, those ears in just a little bit more and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do to them. Got quite a bit moved. You just have to kind of do it with the, with the tip of your knife. Just be careful. Don't force anything folks. Don't force anything. Alright. Look at the head. Now what I want to do is come down here Go a little bit deeper there, and a little bit deeper there, so those ears will stand out. I want to just kind of go down here to where these ears are, like about in this area in here. And I just want to kind of flip that end ending up. I want to cut a little V-cut in there, okay? I won't see what I'm doing. That's it. Where well, the ears look like, like they flip up a little bit. Just like that. See? From the side. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. Cut in a little V. And coming from the bottom here and just flipping the bottom of that ear up a little bit.
There you go. Where the ear kind of flips a little bit. I suggest you do that after you separate the ears from here. Okay? All right, I don't know how much time I have left. Um, I know my hand is getting really tired now. Very, very tired. So we will continue this uh, again, okay? A couple of days or a day or so or whatever. Okay, God bless.